So we have a school bus driver out in Colorado, and I wish this story was made up, but we have a school bus driver that did that to a 10 year old girl because she did not want to wear a mask. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button before you get into this video. This school bus driver, he has been fired and criminal charges have been pressed against him, which when I show you guys the footage of it, you'll understand why, because when I did this, that is not an exaggeration. That is a pretty much the same amount of force that it appears on camera that this bus driver hit a 10 year old girl in the face with. Smacked her in the face and this same child told the school that wearing the mask made her feel sick. Same child. And it would not surprise me at all if this same school bus driver, if this fool was already fully vaccinated, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if this guy was fully vaccinated and still acted the way he did. And on top of it, he lied in the incident report, which when I play this story for you guys in its entirety, you'll see that this guy wasn't even honest because he claimed that he reacted as if this was a, a knee jerk reaction. He uh, also uh, pointed the finger at the girl uh, in his incident report but on camera, you see him with his hand all up in this little girl face. Not only does he have his hand all up in her face, he put his hand on her head, kind of just like this, to kind of push the mask up before he ended up, you know, smacking her. And um, this man is very lucky if all he gets is fired. He is a blessed man if that is all that happens to him. Not saying that someone should do anything to him, but you are um, touching another person's child. Tonight, a bus driver is charged with child abuse after reportedly slapping a student across the face. Only 11 News has that video. The school district tells us they took action right away. The bus driver no longer works there. 11 News reporter Ashley Franco obtained the video from the Fremont School District. She joins us live in studio. Ashley, what did the bus driver say about all this? Adam and Lindsay, in this handwritten statement, Bertram Jaquez gave to the school district, he says he slapped the student. He said he had gone to the back of the bus because two girls were arguing that one of them wasn't wearing a mask. Here's a look at what happened, and the school district has blurred the faces of those involved to protect their identity. We know you've seen this video, but we want to warn you, it may be disturbing to some. This is the moment a 10-year-old student at Fremont Elementary School says her bus driver hit her because she took her mask down below her nose. This is video from about a month ago. You can see at one point the bus driver pushes the mask up on the girl's face. Then the two have a back and forth and the bus driver does this. Records obtained by 11 News show the district took immediate action by placing the bus driver on paid administrative leave. Following their investigation, they were working to terminate him. According to the documents, the bus driver resigned before the district could fire him. In documents obtained by 11 News, the girl told her school that she gets sick from wearing masks, so she, quote, put her mask down. The bus driver, in his own words on this incident report, said he went to the back of the bus where the two girls were arguing about not wearing a mask. He said he tried to explain, and she, quote, just wouldn't listen, yelling at me and the two girls, end quote. He went on to say that, quote, out of a reaction, I slapped her once. According to the termination letter the school district gave the bus driver, the superintendent noted this is the second time the bus driver had physically touched a student out of anger. The first incident was in August, where he grabbed a student by the arm after an argument about wearing a facial covering. The district tells me he was given a verbal warning back then. The school district didn't want to talk on camera, but did give me this statement. In part, we believe it is never okay to lay a hand on a child. The driver's actions justify termination of employment as it goes against district policy and our values. We are very saddened by this incident. 
Now, after I started asking questions to the Fremont County Sheriff's Office back in April, the bus driver was charged over the weekend with harassment, assault causing injury, and child abuse causing injury. Guys, back to you. Hard video to watch. All right. Thank you, Ash. So as we saw, um, that was no exaggeration when I reenacted what happened, but a Colorado bus driver admits to slapping 10 year old girl in the face over mask. He states out of reaction, I slapped her once. A Fremont County, Colorado bus driver admitted to slapping a 10 year old girl in the face after she placed her mask beneath her nose. Bertram uh, Jaquez, who has since been terminated, said in a written letter about the April incident that out of reaction, I slapped her once, according to KKTV. And this is an exclusive story according to KKTV, so we're not gonna see this anywhere else for the most part. So make sure you share this video. Video obtained by the outlets depict uh, Jaquez arguing with the girl and demanding she wear her mask correctly. When she resists, he slaps her. And I saw this footage um, where you can actually hear the conversation right before he slapped her. And um, she was calm. The girl, the girl was non-aggressive, non-aggressive, just just sitting there, not doing what he said, but was calm. She she wasn't doing anything. I mean, even if she was, it would still be out of line. But the fact that she's just sitting there, and then out of nowhere, the smack. He's blessed if all that happens is he got fired. The girl recounted the incident for herself in a handwritten statement to the school explaining that she didn't want to wear the mask because it made her feel sick. She explained that after she had been slapped, she demanded to be let off the bus, but, ja but Jaquez kept driving. The Fremont County School District also issued a statement explaining that Jaquez was fired. He ended up uh, quitting before he was uh, officially fired. But Jaquez is facing misdemeanor charges, including harassment, assault, causing injury. So the child got injured and child abuse. But I am curious what you guys think about this whole thing. This whole mask situation. It can't have people behaving this way. And um, there's no excuse. I don't give a damn how infectious uh, whatever is floating around is. I don't care. We cannot be acting like this. We cannot be out here putting our putting our hands on uh, somebody else's child, putting our hands on children, period, when they say that a mask that they're wearing is making them sick. This is goofy as hell. This is crazy. I'm Chris, what you guys think? Make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button, and blessings to you.